So how far in did you speak with Impact about coming in? Obviously, you had a pretty good end there with Deanna Perrazzo, uh, but yeah. I, from what I understand, you had been around at tapings even before, right? Like I'm sure that like you had you had met plenty of people, you had established connections yourself. How far after your release did did they speak with you about coming in? Uh, it was literally the day that my contract was ended with WWE, I got the call that I was getting signed with Impact. And my conversations with them were through D-Lo, uh, with Tommy Dreamer. But, like, with Tommy Dreamer, it was funny because I talked about it on his podcast. And um, when I went there originally, it was for one of Deanna's matches that she had, uh, I want to say it was Bound for Glory last year. Yeah. Um, and I went for the match just to hang out. And I was not doing anything on TV and WWE, so I'm like, I need to get away from Florida let me come with you. And she brought me with her and I just kind of sat and talked and dreamer and I talked football, didn't talk anything wrestling. We just talked football. And then after that, I went back again. And then that's kind of when the conversations happened with me and D'Lo. And he was like, so it was kind of funny to me because I've been on college visits for high school football when I was in high school. And like, they try to tell you like, Oh, we can't technically talk to you, but exactly. when is this date happening? So it's like one of those NCAA things. And it was just kind of fun to do uh, how it all worked out. And I'm just, I'm very grateful where I'm at and how it all happened. Impact is such an amazing place. Um, I don't know. I know people have talked about it, how creatively freedom that you have there is just, it's a lot of fun. And anything you throw at them ideas wise, if they throw it back at you in a different way, it's just very good communication. And that's the number one thing is communication. So had they established early on you'd be a part of the X Division? And how did you feel about that? Because quite honestly, most people, when they think of, of your work, don't exactly scream out, oh, he'll be in the X Division. But no. the the proof is in the pudding. The results have been great. I've I've compared it. I've said it's like if Rhino in his prime was put in the X Division. Like it's it's that aggression and that that just 110 miles an hour with a purpose type of thing that I, I really like. Did you know, like, early on you'd be in the X Division? No. So originally when I was getting signed was before Slammiversary, and I was told, hey, we want to bring you as a tag team. Like, okay, well, I have a partner who just got let go as well. Yeah. And that's kind of how it worked out with Wesley Blake. Uh, well, Wesley Blake now. Um, but uh, it was kind of working that way. They said, okay, cool. And then maybe about a week later they said, hey, we want to bring you in before Slammiversary, get the vignettes going going to bring in signals. I'm like, okay, cool. Then Blake and I sat down, we had a conversation. We're obviously at crossroads in our careers, but I was like, I need to do the singles thing. I've never done it on my own. Mm -hmm. I've tried. It never worked uh, in uh, with NXT at that time, just because of the influx. That's why we became a tag team, but the influx of talent there, that's just how it worked. You just find a way to get on TV. So now here I am riding a roller coaster. And since it started, I've, I'm, I'm having so much fun especially the X division uh, just because it's such a class of clash of uh, styles. And I know I've said it before too. It's like a Samoa Joe, AJ styles. You have Christopher Daniels, the Sabins, you have all the names that have been throughout X division. And like, that's what the X division is in impact wrestling. It is just a clash of styles. And I think that's the one thing that I bring to the X division is that that middle marker of like, I can do this and I can do that, but you have to ma match me in the middle. Because I'm going to kick the shit out of you. 